Hey guys, Joanne here with Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on this Allure Tech 19 inch digital photo frame. There are just a couple points I'd like to go over before opening up the box and plugging the unit in. First of all, you can put photos in this photo frame, create a slideshow, which is really helpful if you, let's say you have a business and you want people to see your menus, or you could just have a photo out like this and have a slideshow going with music playing in the background. That is cool. You can also play videos from either an SD card, um, a USB flash drive, or by plugging this unit into your PC and then transferring the video file over. And finally, of course, you can play music. This also comes with two gigabytes of built-in memory, and you also get a 19-inch 40 by 40, I mean, I'm sorry, 1440 by 900 resolution LCD screen. Here's everything that comes in the box. We have the digital photo frame here, which I will go over in just a little bit after I put the stand on there. But first, let's take a look at the other accessories like the documentation or the cleaning cloth. Ha, you get a cleaning cloth. Light blue, I like that, powder blue. And you also get a user guide. Very handy, actually. You look through here to see how you put everything together. What the remote control does, I love the remote control because just reaching back there every time I need to go to the menu um, could be a little bit uh, time consuming. So here is also a user guide in another language. And what is this? This is a record of purchase. I believe it is your registration, yes. You could um, register your product as well as see your warranty. Also in a different language. Let's see what all of these cables are. I'm going to unbind this because I am going to be plugging in the unit so you can get a look at the colors and how it works. So let's go ahead and untwist these. Here's the power brick. This end plugs into the unit. One moment, I'll just move this. Ah, there we are. Rather hefty piece of equipment. This end plugs into the power port like so. And then this end plugs in right here. And of course, this plugs into the power outlet. This piece here is the stand. Very important. I'm going to flip this. Let me move this back this direction, and you see these notches here? This is where you will be inserting this um, screw. So you can get like the correct angle or the angle that you desire. I am going to push it all the way through to the very last piece, circle. There we go, just stop. And go ahead and screw that into place. And voila, your stand is in place. And it should angle this much. All right, now moving this back down, I did want to show you the ports. So on this side, you'll notice you get a USB 2.0 port for that flash drive, also mini USB connection for that cable that plugs into your PC to transfer the video or photo files that you wish to put into this device and unplug the PC so you can use this again. And then the SD card slot, so useful because let's say um, I'm taking pictures, I forget the cord for my camera, I just pop the card in here and it'll read everything. And of course, this is the power plug. There is also a power indicator light. Go ahead and flip this here. Oh, there's even a little rubber piece here to keep this unit in place while it is on the desk. So you can either use this stand piece here or take this off and wall mount it, whatever you'd like. And you get speakers here as well. And here are some buttons for menu, exit, navigational pad, play pause, not pad, but buttons, as well as power button. Once again, I'm going to flip this to the screen side. This is the 19 inch TFT um, LCD screen. Once again, 1440 by 900 resolution. It's even got this little white framing around it. Very cool, just like you would get with a photo album. And let's go back to the cables actually. I didn't go over this one specifically. Uh, just give me one moment. So I tried this earlier and I plugged this mini USB 
course into this end, like so, and I plug this other end into my Ultrabook. And then I was able to, um, a box popped up and I was able to put some photo files in there and transfer it to this unit. But like I said, this will uh, temporarily pause and not uh, read until after you've unplugged this USB from your PC. And then you'll be able to see your photos or videos or music on this device. One last thing I need to go over is this remote control. This is super handy, loved it, used it for all of it, but make sure to point the, um, this towards the receiver so that you'll get accurate um, uh, button pressing. And so on the remote control, you get slideshow button, navigational pad, stop button, as well as rotate, select, zoom in, what else? Setup for, let's say, when you're looking at a picture, you can go to setup and press delete the picture or other options. Volume control and this little moon here, this is the power button. On the back, your battery compartment. Mm, just go ahead and take this out. And here's a look at your battery. Here's a look at the device plugged in, but it has not been turned on yet. So let's turn it on with this remote control. Sorry, it's the angle, but it should really just turn on. There we go. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's pink. These are your options. This is very simple. You just go through, right now there's nothing in there, but uh, you do get that two gig internal memory. And this is your, for your photos. This is for music. This is for video files, and even your clock and cl calendar. You can set that up once you get the chance, but let's just exit that for now. And once you have, a, let's say, a, vid uh, a card in there or a um, flash drive or files that you moved over, if it is a music file, it'll separate it for you. You can either look at everything together or you can go, I want to look at pictures and click on this and see uh, what you have or videos and the like. So I'm going to put in this SD card and we're going to take a look at what lovely pictures I have on there. Once again, see SD, you can either look at it here, one moment, and um, that's what I had for dinner one night. Delicious, huh? And I also took some photos of um, nature. Let's just go straight to the camera so you can see all of them. And when you are here, let's just take a look at some of the other pictures since it's so pretty. Uh, but once you're here, what you can do is you can press that up. And if there is a photo that uh, you'd like to, you can zoom, uh, rotate, copy photo, or delete. But if for some reason it is skipping over that, but it should let me delete. And let me just exit out of that. But those are your options. And once again, if you do have a video on there, just go straight to video and it will show you. Now I'm going to remove the card and we're going to put in a flash drive. So it's going to go into the USB 2.0 port. There we go. Whoops. Boom, that was fast. And there's USB. Haha, <laughs> more food pictures. I do happen to love my food. So let's go here and take a look at what all of this has to, oh, very cool, actually. Let's go to setup. And here are some of your options. I'm just gonna exit that. And I went to Italy and saw some pretty amazing stuff, actually. If you're curious, here is one of the sites I went to. Ah, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh, or what we can do is we could do a slideshow. Ooh. That wraps up our overview on this Allura Tech 19 inch digital photo frame. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.